<laughs> oh, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Today, today, today is the first conservation snow goose hunt of the entire season. Like the last video I told you I've been waiting, I've been waiting to sit up on these older adult birds because that's all Kansas has right now and that's all there really is, is adult snow geese in general and they're tough. Sorry if the lighting is uh, not the greatest, but we're on the road. I decided to uh, open up the video here because when I get to the field, we're gonna have a lot, and I mean a lot of work to do. Today, I believe there's only going to be like five of us, I'm pretty sure. Five or six at the most, hopefully more than four. Hopefully more than four. Yeah, you guys know, the less people, the harder it is to get up that big old spread and with these adult snow geese you got to have a big spread to just get their attention if you want to get their attention you got to sit a hog but today we're gonna have three snows down low e-collars so we're gonna spread them out throughout the uh, all throughout the decoys and we're gonna turn them on low turn the volume down and just let that noise work at a low low volume gonna have to run a lot of socks gonna be laying in white that's why I got my old duck snow goose conservation hoodie on yellow. If you guys want to pick up the white hats, the buffs that go around your neck and your face, or the white conservation hoodie, I will link all three of these items down in the description below. But like I said, we're on the road. I'm going to jam the rest away. Keep my eyes peeled because right now it's 519. I left my house at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. My, my alarm went off at 3.45. It's an hour and 24 minute drive to our destination today. So, I'm going to be extra tired by the time I hit the bed tonight. I'll tell you what. Oh, that's a lot of birds. Whoa. Doggy, look at all them chickens. We are flip flopping around. It is extremely cold today. Oh. Look at this, just loving it. These darks love it. I wish they was, oh, big flare. Cameron's over here mouth calling them. Got some darks checking us out, boys. Little lessers. Uh oh. Well, here's group number two. The first big group didn't like us. First group, I think they locked up at about eh, 80 yards, and that's as close as they uh, close as they got. This is the second big volley. They're checking us out yet again. Some darks are working again. A lot of birds. Oh, here we are. We are freezing our tussies off. Oh boy, it's cold. Haven't even got to open up the video yet. It's so cold, but we got a lot of birds above us. Holy smokes, I'm froze. It's a lot colder than we bargained for today. Whew. Well, they're looking at us pretty hard. My big camera is froze up, not working. It's uh, 9 degrees out. A whopping 9 degrees. What are they doing back there, boy? What are they doing back there, boy? Are they coming? We got three. Oh, we're going to... Oh, these are all darks, boys. These are all darks, boys. There's three snows in there. We're going to have to do some major, major surgery that I don't want to do there. <laughs> wow. Well, 
finally just now got the camera back on. I think it stopped working around 7 o'clock this morning. And as you can see right now, it's a little after 10 o'clock and 11 degrees out. Yeah, the wind chill is uh, literally probably 2 degrees. At best, probably 2 degrees. Uh, so the birds came. We were late getting set up. Uh, I basically have to tell you the story of everything you miss because, like I said, cameras gone. One thing that I have learned, I, I can't, I can't film in these type of temperatures. Literally, I can't film. It's not that I don't want to film. It's not that I don't want to hunt, but I can't film. The cameras don't work. My GoPro, I had it on there for a little bit, as you guys seen, gone. It went beep, 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 beep. I looked at the screen. It had a temperature uh, little symbol turned off. It's done that before, but it takes a lot for these cameras to do that. And right now, I'm telling you, A, camera's not working. B, tough birds. A lot of birds came to our spread. I think we pulled them down to about 70 yards was the closest. <clears throat> Sorry, camera just malfunctioned yet again. Probably just lost a bunch of footage. Seriously, this cold is HE double hockey sticks on these cameras. But... 70 yards that was it we didn't shoot a bird uh on the last look at this look at all these yep a bunch of birds out here but let me tell you what they don't play nice they do not play nice so in a combination of adult hard birds i mean very tough birds and very 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 cold conditions here in kansas this cold front we just got oh uh, my goodness the ground was harder than a rock my dive bomb socks uh those spring steel stakes that they're on they're real thin and they usually go in the ground really well you couldn't get them in the ground we had to put them in corn stalks so it was cold and i mean extremely cold it's too it's it's that type of cold where your hands are gone immediately uh, if you don't have gloves and it, it basically any bare skin is gone it hurts it stings and then it's froze and you can't feel it anymore uh well i think we all had enough by the time the uh third set came along third group of birds we were like all right boys they're not gonna like it they haven't liked it what do you want to do i'm like let's go let's just go even if we would have been able to take a shot on a group, I wouldn't have been able to record it. So it's like, well, everybody's frozen anyway, so let's just go home. So that didn't go right. I had to take me a nap. <laughs> it took me about a two hour nap, actually. This morning I got up, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm rude. It's 421 in the afternoon. But like I was saying, this morning, uh, I got up at 3.45 is when my alarm went off. I was completely tired, and the cold completely drained me even more. It was so cold. I think the wind chill was probably 2 degrees all morning long while we were sitting out there on our heinies wasting our time. But hunting is never really wasting your time as long as you're enjoying it. We all get out there and do it for a reason, and that's what counts, and that's what matters most. That's what keeps us all coming back is the love for the sport not the reward all the time meaning a pile of birds it always doesn't have to be a pile of birds but now i got you guys with me i'm scouting i'm doing a little bit of scouting we got a long cold 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 weather trend i don't think it's supposed to get above 30 degrees for the next week so snow goose hunting is going to be a struggle to say the least you know how it is snow goose hunting you have to sit really big spreads like today we didn't have near the amount of decoys up that we wanted to because we did we had limited guys and the ground was froze and i mean froze we all, we had to put every decoy in a corn stock and by the way i'm sorry i did not film that much literally i couldn't it was too cold and we had no help but got me a nap like i said feeling good feeling energized um like i've warned everybody like everybody knows who's tried the snow goose hunting this year even with an e-collar it doesn't make the world a difference they'll come look at you like today you've seen the footage they came and looked at us got them to about 70 80 yards at best and then they were gone they looked for quite some time they were interested for a little while but not real interested for them to give it up past 70 yards so cameron uh, i think they've hunted them four times and he said 
that's that's the trend right there that's what they do every time this year is just completely different from last year this was my first conservation hunt of the season and let me tell you it's a real smack in the face on Instagram I'm sure you guys have seen all the big outfitters all the big name snow goose outfitters just having a struggle bus of a time warning everybody look ride on if you're out there uh, putting it to them and trying that's that's what counts is everybody gets out there and tries to throw something new at them and see if they like it well this could possibly be one of the biggest feeds I've seen all year this is massive I didn't know that there was this many birds out this way check this bad boy out so it goes all the way to the end of the field over there I'll try to go slow so you can check it out it goes all the way back to the next tree row I mean this is the entire field that's big well, they're all gonna jump around again. They just jumped to this field from a different field. They've been jumping and jumping and jumping like crazy. Jumped farther out in it. Oof. That is huge. Well, here we are on the other side of the field, and you can kind of see it a little better. Look at that thing. I mean, that's just... That is big. Very, very, very big. Literally the whole field. So this is the worst thing about this time of year right now. Check this out. This is the worst, by far worst thing to have to watch. Oh, oh boy, look at all these ducks. Oh man. I mean tons. Literally ducks everywhere here in Kansas right now. We are absolutely loaded with the ducks. <laughs> Yo! Oh, uh, well, I'm just dragging this video out. This is the third day, so it's the next day yet again. And what am I doing? I'm scouting. You have to scout snows a ton. So that's kind of what I was thinking about this video. I'm like, you know what? You've never filmed three days and put it into one video. It's not like we're doing anything crazy by no means, but I think it is cool dragging out the video day by day by day, but not having much luck on the scouting, uh, but I did want to let you guys know that our snow goose hoodies, oh yeah, these bad boys, we're running a 48 hour sale on these bad boys starting Friday running through Saturday. But they'll be 20% off those two days, so if you guys have been looking to buy one of these bad boys, your best chance to save you some cash will be Friday and Saturday, 20% off Friday and Saturday only. I don't want to spook them up, but yeah, there they go. Darn it. Anyways, I didn't want to bump the birds, but I'm going to bump a little bit of them because this field is catty corner from the one we scouted earlier, which was yesterday. Still loaded up, but this field's a little different. This got really, really nice tall stalks. I'd like to, I'd really like to hunt this one. Really like to hunt it, but uh, not in 10 degree weather, yeah. It's day three or two or something or other of cold, bitter, bitter weather. Bitter, bitter wind chills. I mean, it's been snowing, flurrying all day today. So uh, these birds have been staying in the field all day for the last two days because of this weather. And it looks like they're going to resort to getting in taller stocks. They're really liking the stocks. The stocks get them out of the wind. They're finding more food. Better source of food as well.
but from seeing the reaction uh, of the birds earlier that you saw, you know, couldn't get them within 70 yards pretty much. I've been scouring Instagram uh, trying to just see what tactics uh, everybody's using. And my theory from day one when I seen how the snow geese were going to be reacting before conservation season even opened up, I was already telling myself, hunt them like honkers, hunt them like honkers. And what I mean is get out of the spread, let the decoys do their work, try to resort to uh, more full bodies to be quite honest, might sprinkle in some socks for motion, but I'm a big, big, big advocate on getting out of those decoys this year. So, so we're going to be firing up our own conservation hunts around here. That's why I'm scouting so much, obviously. But I'm going to be running a lot of laydown blind snow goose hunts this year getting out of the decoy, sitting them away from the decoy spread, and letting the e-collar sit in the decoys and do its job without a bunch of human beings laying in the decoys, messing it all up. So that's my two cents on how I think I'm going to be sitting the spreads around here. All these birds are old. So again, hunt them like honkers. Oh, but I know this video was everywhere. I know it's like here, there, here, there. I know. It's I know. I'm trying to put together some videos for you guys, some scouting, some some of my tips, and just like this hunt, tried to send it on the first conservation hunt, and it just it didn't work very well. It was too cold. Very many different reasons why it just didn't work. The cold it has one to do with it. It's just so cold, none of my cameras even worked. But I hope you guys appreciate me trying. I'm going to be trying. I'm going to show you the videos where I try. Even if we don't kill anything like today, I'm still going to make a vlog about it. It seems that you guys like that and you appreciate that. You guys want to see the struggle. So I appreciate you guys want to see that. It's nice knowing that my viewers want to see the story and how things work and how they happen. How they work and how they don't work. So I appreciate uh, your guys' comments down in the below. All the positive ones. Thank you so much. They're uplifting all the time. Thank you guys. And subscribe if you haven't, but we will see you on the next one. Boop.